Hi folks, I'm Steve Hindy for Showing Animals Respect and Kindness. Take a good look at these bulls being attacked by dogs at the 2019 California Rodeo in Salinas, California. More specifically, look at this bull, the one with the red, bloody tongue. These bulls were repeatedly attacked by dogs at the end of each performance of the four-day rodeo at Salinas, and their torment, pain, and suffering was not only allowed, but encouraged by rodeo producers, promoters, and sponsors, and was witnessed and enjoyed by rodeo attendees generally. Incredibly, the rodeo thugs tried to claim this was herding. Ignoring for just a moment the fact that no one with a hint of common decency would be part of this, let's focus on the group of people who had the most cause to stop this obvious and illegal abuse, the veterinarians. Believe it or not, there are veterinarians at the rodeo in Salinas, and they're worse than worthless. They've watched the same disgusting cruelty that we've video documented for years, and yet the abuse continues. This man, Dr. Tim Eastman, is the head veterinarian for the California Rodeo at Salinas. Dr. Eastman is also supposed to report all animal injuries requiring treatment at the rodeo, but he didn't report this clearly injured bull. The law states, in accordance with Section 4830.8 of the Business and Professional Code, attending or on-call veterinarians at the rodeo event are required to report to the Veterinary Medical Board any animal injury at the event requiring veterinary treatment within 48 hours of the conclusion of the rodeo. We know that Dr. Eastman didn't report this injury because we made a record request of the California Veterinary Medical Board and we received what was filed by Dr. Eastman. Dr. Eastman only mentions a slight injury to the horn of a steer, no mention of a bull with a bloody tongue. Scott DeLucci, executive director of the SPCA of Monterey County, claims that the bull was treated. Mr. DeLucci writes, We believe one bull received a tongue or mouth injury. We are not aware of any injured dogs, and we are ensuring that this bull received treatment which is required by law. That means that the bull should have been reported by Dr. Eastman. But then, Dr. Eastman also didn't see to it that the state law banning animal fights was enforced. Here's how that law reads. Any person who, for amusement or gain, worries or injures any bull, dog, or other animal, or causes any bull, bear, or other animal, not including any dog, to worry or injure each other, or any person who permits the same to be done on any premises under his or her charge or control, or any person who aids or abets the fighting or worrying of an animal or creature is guilty of a misdemeanor punishable by imprisonment in a county jail for a period not to exceed one year, by a fine not to exceed $10,000, or by both that imprisonment and fine. That means that everyone involved in putting on the rodeo and the owners of the rodeo grounds, meaning the managers of Salinas, should be charged. As for Dr. Eastman, are you wondering why he doesn't want to do his job? Perhaps it has something to do with this guy. This is Brent Eastman, who is veterinarian Tim Eastman's older brother. Brent Eastman is the president of the California Rodeo at Salinas. Then there is the late Sam Eastman, the father of Tim and Brent, who joined the California Rodeo Committee in 1964, serving as chair of the announcing committee chair of the nomination committee, director. Sam Eastman was also the president from 1990 to 1991. In fact, the Eastman family supports the rodeo so wholeheartedly, there is a sign in the arena honoring them. When it comes to veterinarian Tim Eastman, that is a major conflict of interest, and we've pointed this out in the past, obviously, to no avail. The veterinarian should be independent of rodeo management and not under its thumb. Dr. Tim Eastman is the very last veterinarian who should be involved in the Salinas Rodeo. This explains why the Salinas Rodeo has a long history of underreporting injuries. We've included links to videos that show that history in the description section of this video, and it is something to see.
This helps to explain why there is so much abuse. Because little brother never had the stones to tell his big brother or their dad before him to knock off the cruelty. That is, assuming Tim Eastman even has a sense of compassion or humane treatment. Regarding the illegal bull baiting or the use of dogs to attack the bulls, we've sent our video evidence to the Salinas police at their request. I quite frankly do not expect the police or the prosecutor to do the right thing because Salinas is a rodeo town. But we've given them the hard evidence and we'll update this story as we're able. Please contact Monterey County District Attorney Janine M. Passioni and encourage her to prosecute those responsible for this abuse. Please be professional at all times and let us know of any response you may receive. I'm Steve Hindy for showing animals respect and kindness. Thank you for watching. Please like and share this video. You can subscribe to our channel to see more of our investigations and learn what you can do to help shark help animals. To support Shark directly and gain access to exclusive content, consider sponsoring us on Patreon.